Hey, good morning. I'm going to read out of Zephaniah chapter 2 and chapter 3. It says, Seek the Lord, all who are humble, and follow his commands. Seek to do what is right and to live humbly. Perhaps even yet the Lord will protect you, protect you from his anger on that day of destruction. The remnant of the tribe of Judah will pasture there, for the Lord their God will visit his people in kindness and restore their prosperity. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout aloud, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem, for the Lord your God is living among you. He's a mighty Savior. He will take delight in you with gladness, with his love. He will calm all your fears, and he will rejoice over you with joyful song. You know, each of the Old Testament prophets has a unique story to, step, uh, to tell. Even though much of what they have to say sounds similar to the voices of other prophets, a few of the unique qualities of Zephaniah that gives weight to his message and a little context is that he was of royal birth. You know, he traced his lineage back to Hezekiah, the king of Judah. And he was related to the current king, Josiah. And he had personally experienced the corruption of another relative, King Manasseh. It was his own family that had caused much of the heartache that people were experiencing. And so when Zephaniah is prophesying to the leaders who have led people astray, he's talking about his own family members. So all of that means his message was personal in a way that many of the other Old Testament prophets didn't experience. So in much of Zephaniah's prophecy, he gives warning of coming destruction if, if, if his relatives continue down the destructive path they are on. But he also gives a message of hope for them if they return to following the Lord. Here in these verses I read to you, he gives the promise of the Lord protecting you. He'll visit you with kindness. He will restore your prosperity. He'll take delight in you with gladness. He will calm all your fears. You know, like Zephaniah, there are times when we see the destructive path our family is on. We may feel helpless and powerless, but God's message of hope is more powerful than our sin and despair, or even their sin and despair. The best thing, sometimes the only thing we can do is point them to the Lord. As we do, we relinquish responsibility for their choices. And we surrender them to God's grace and mercy. Pray with me. Lord, I thank you for that mercy and grace that you offer us all. I pray that you would help us to proclaim the truth of your message, whether it's to people we don't know at all or to people that we know very well, those who are closest to us, friends and family. Sometimes, Lord, we see the path of destruction that they're headed down. And we feel helpless. But remind us that we are never help us. We have the living, active Word of God that we can share with them, pointing them back to you, which Lord, today, we want to do. In Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.